please welcome our next author, Stormy Kastan. So please forgive me, I've, I've taken some liberties with the format just a little bit, uh, but considering the liberties that have already been taken, I expect to be forgiven. <laughs> the Frankly Delicious Food Blog. First post. Hello, delicious world. Welcome to Frankly Delicious, your new block away from home where you'll find culinary adventures that are, frankly, delicious. I know, I know. You're saying to yourself, oh, great. Here's yet another long-winded so-and-so sharing recipes for things you've already made a thousand times. Well, damn it! I hate that, too. So come on, let go of your inhibitions, because it's time to put your tippy-toe and the whole rest of your body onto a path that will have you making food that's, frankly, delicious. <laughs> do you smell that? I sure do. <laughs> we all do. Because smell is the only sense that carries memories. And who doesn't remember family gatherings featuring fun, family, and mom's famous meat love? It's already pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> and mm, mm, I see you shiver with anticipation. <laughs> I recently had occasion to make this recipe when unexpected company dropped in. You know how it is. You plan for a certain number, and suddenly you have extra lips to feed. I suppose I could have turned that away, but what fun would that have been? It's actually a rather peculiar story. And damn it! I got myself sidetracked. So let's get it back to the beginning. The ingredients. In my case, I didn't have anything extra on hand, and it was far too late and rainy to go to the supermarket. But when you have leftovers in the freezer, and at least half a brain, you'll figure something out. In my case, inspiration literally sprang right out of the deep freeze and demanded my attention in the form of a large singing man riding a motorcycle. I struck accordingly. My team was horrified, but I assured Rocky that it was the mercy killer. But damn it! I got sidetracked again. So let's cut to the chase. The recipe for famous meatloaf. Step one, roast the chunkiest portions of one fully thawed and newly deceased biker singer popularly known as meatloaf until tender. <laughs> Step two, place unused portions of meatloaf in a casket nested in the center of a large banquet table. <laughs> Step three, cover it all with a tablecloth and serve the roasted bits to your guests. And finally, step four, after everyone has consumed the portion, unveil the source of the feast. Now, if your guests are anything like mine, they'll scream for more. And if anyone complains that it's meatloaf again, don't be discouraged. They're definitely the ones that more than anyone else found this recipe to be, frankly, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> 